the following are the concepts discussed as the prerequisites in coordinate geometry. Pythagoras theorem. A similarity criterion, that is, angle to angle. Condition to justify points forming a triangle. Perpendicular bisector. Trapezium. Let us start with Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of the longest side, that is, hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Here, trapezium ABC is a right angle triangle, angle B is right angle, AC is hypotenuse, and DB, BC are other sides of trapezium ABC. Then, Pythagoras theorem is stated as, a C whole square equals a B whole square plus BC whole square. Let us see a few examples. Find the length of the side AC from figure below. Answer. Given that AB equals 4 and BC equals 3, ABC is a right angle triangle. Applying Pythagoras theorem that is. In a right angle triangle ABC, square of hypotenuse, a C, is equal to sum of squares of other two sides, a B and BC, that is, a C whole square equals a B whole square plus BC whole square. Now we have a C whole square equals 4 square plus 3 square. A C equals square root of 25. A C equals square root of 5 into 5. A C equals 5. Therefore, length of side AC is 5 units. Let us see another example. A ladder is inclined towards a wall of height 9 meters, is 3 meters away from the wall. Find the length of the ladder. The given figure forms a right angle triangle. Assume ladder's length is L. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we have L square equals 9 square plus 3 square. L equals square root of 81 plus 9. L square equals square root of 90. L equals 3 root 10. Therefore ladder height equals 9.48 meters approximately. Now we shall learn about air similarity criterion, that is, angle to angle similarity criterion. If two angles of one triangle are respectively equal to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. This may be referred to as the air similarity criterion for two triangles. Or, if in two triangles, corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion, and hence the two triangles are similar. Let us see the condition to justify points forming a triangle. To justify that any three points forms a triangle, the lengths formed by the points should satisfy the following condition. The sum of any two lengths between the points should be greater than the third length formed by the points. Consider three points P, Q, and R are located on the plane, and we need to show that they form a triangle. First we need to find the lengths between P, Q, Q, R, P, R, and check the condition whether the sum of lengths formed by any two is greater than the third length. Let us see what perpendicular bisector is. If a point lies on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the line segment. Its converse is also true. Converse, if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then it lies on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. Now let us see what trapezium is. A trapezium is a quadrilateral that has only one pair of parallel sides. Let's see the area of a trapezium. Area of trapezium equals half the sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance between the parallel sides equals 1 is divided by 2 into a plus b into h. 